everybody, it's Andrew the Moo, and here we are with another episode of Van Helsing. Catholic priest, do it for me. You must breach the Black Tower of Dracula's castle and its narrow bridge. For this is the one and only way to the vampire's coveted throne. We are almost done with the game, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we are absolutely almost done. Finish with this thing. So let's move forward and try to beat this game and not lose our sanity in the process because just it, it, it's killing me. It's slowly killing me on the inside. I'm, I'm, I'm dying just a little bit. I'm, I'm telling you, it, it, it's, it's not good, folks. It's not good. If you felt like I did right now, you'd just be, oh. Oh. So we jump into a battle right now, and it's rinse, lather, repeat at the moment because I, this is just stuff that we're used to. You know what I mean, guys? This is just what we're used to because of the fact that it, it, it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing we can do to, to, to stop this. So, let's go ahead and fight through these creatures and uh, let's go as we move forward. And Yeah, it's birds. Not like we haven't seen these things before. And I'm bringing out the Katandas now because I am sick and tired of having to deal with these things. Let me grab my hat real quick. That's very important. Ray Stevens once sang, you gotta have a hat, a great big hat. A great big hat, that's where it's at. And, uh, let's blow this joker up, and we have an Easter egg that we're not gonna place anywhere, probably. But what we can do, what we can do, folks, is we can walk through these double doors. And as soon as we do, we are accosted by more stinking freaking bats. Uh, not bats, owls, because, again, you know, that's what you'd expect. No, wait, these are bats. These are like the minions of Dracula. My bad. Thought I saw nothing but owls there for a moment, but I'm seeing the minions of Dracula. My, my bad, my bad. Ah, it's vulnerable to attack with a close range, you know, gu gun like a shotgun. And what have we found? We found a cheat glyph. And I think I'm actually going to show off this chief, uh, cheat just out of curiosity, depending on what it is. Scroll down, and let's see what we can find. Sick, sick player. World becomes slick, and you become sick. Okay, how does that work? Alrighty then. That's... Okay, I can understand why they say the player becomes uh, sick. Because it looks like I'm just sliding all over the stinking place. And it doesn't help the fact <clears throat> that I'm fighting against a couple of different enemies right now. So, uh, yeah, just uh, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Uh, I really, really, really want to kill these things so I can get rid of this. This is actually kind of aggravating looking. I got one more, one more, one, uh, uh, two more, two more, one more. Three more, I'm just going to say, like, there are probably 12 more enemies in the room right now. I'm trying to shoot them down the best that I can. And, uh, yeah. Uh, come on, not more. I really want to get this off the screen because of the fact I honestly do feel kind of wonky because of it. Uh, Alright, let's turn that off. Turn you off and everything is Back to normal. Oh, thank you. I mean, that's a neat little code, I guess, but I don't understand the purpose behind it. I Maybe I'm just missing something. That's it. it it's, it's something that I'm missing. But anyway, we're going to break some pots. We're going to move forward. I don't know why I'm still gathering and collecting this stuff. I guess it's just for the sake of, hey, maybe I can get some health after this. And of course, I'm going to get attacked by more of these things. There we go. Just light them up, blow them up, make them go boom. That's the way you take care of these things. Oh. More of these guys. Just remember, Moo, the game is almost beat. The game is almost beat. The game is almost beat. I'm wondering when I'm going to find the game that I just will absolutely refuse to try to beat. I'll just be like, no. Uh-uh. I'm not playing through this anymore. I'm not playing through this anymore. I want to have nothing to do with this abomination. Maybe when I get to one of the Bubsy games or when I get to Superman 64 or something. I do have those games. 
But, I mean, I want to save certain games for special occasions. I don't want to just bust out, like, Superman 64 or Bubsy 3D. Man, that's something special. That's something that's got to be heartfelt, you know? Know what I mean, guys? Just, you can't just sit there and, is there something over here? There, that just seems like a place where there would be a secret. Still. Now hurry, we must get out of here. Wait. You've been bitten. Falcon? Yes. We must find the antidote for both of you. My brother once said that Dracula had a cure. Anna. Anna, there's something I must tell you. Oh no. No, please. Oh. He left me no choice. With his last breath, he showed me the path to Castle Dracula, and then... Then he lost control again. No! He didn't lose control. He was trying to help you. That's why he bit you! Anna... Anna, he bit me because he was a werewolf. No! You don't know my brother. He was... strong. Strong enough to resist the evil. He bit you for a reason. He must have. What possible reason? I don't know. No. Anna! Random caving into the castle and uh, brand new enemies. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that, you know, they're basically kind of like the uh, water nymph that's, water nymphs that we saw earlier in the game, only they shoot electricity. And they do some damage. You gotta be mindful when they do that and try to dodge them, unlike what I'm doing right now. And so that opens up the path for us. We need to drop down. And oh! Oh, joy of joys of joys of joys of joys. We got more of these guys. Yay! You know, the funny thing is I played through this game, like... I want to make mention of something. She goes, Velikin was able to withstand the evil! And I know that that's a perfect impersonation of Anna. You don't have to thank me. I, 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 I know too well. I'm just... I... I... The movie basically revealed to you the fact that a werewolf is what's needed to kill Dracula, which, it, you know, goes against, you know, all logic of how to kill vampires, because a werewolf is not a wooden stake, nor is it, you know, a yeah, wooden stake to the heart. If I remember correctly, what you got to do is you've got to um, stab a wooden stake through their hearts. You have to cut their heads off, you know, decapitate them. And then once you've done that, you've got to, um, what else do you have to do? Decapitate, wooden stake, uh, then you bury their, um, hearts, uh, not hearts, bury their heads separate from the body with, like, a clove of garlic, uh, in its mouth, or it maybe a bulb of garlic. Uh, and then you're supposed to never take that stuff out, because apparently the, 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 the vampire could probably... Uh, regurg not regurgitate. Wow, resurrect itself. Uh, the, the vampire could regurgitate. Some days, I cannot talk. I wish I could talk, but I cannot talk. So with that being said, let's, let's do this. Ooh. Wonder what happens if we get that thing up a little bit higher. Higher still. Higher still. A little bit further. Come on! This is taking far too long. I mean, having to do the same thing over and over. Uh, but the gears are turning. The gears are turning! Whatever shall we do? That's kind of boring. 
I don't even know what we're doing right now. Like, oh, okay, we're, we're all that to turn on an elevator. But like, you know, that to me doesn't make sense as far as like that's how you kill a vampire. You, you need the you need to have a werewolf. You need to have a werewolf. I understand that the movie was trying to go for something different, I suppose, but um, they could have gone for something good. And the movie decides to follow suit with that logic, I'm assuming at this point. Where is the door? See, that's the thing I don't like about these types of games, because the closed camera, I couldn't move it around, I couldn't figure out where I was going. It's stupid. I will argue that it's stupid. Hey, we're up top. I'm on top of the world with me and my friends and a dog named Blue. I'm on top of the... Sorry. Uh, I guess we go through these doors and that takes us... Okay, we're back in this room. So where do we go from here? Alright, I'll see you guys in just a moment. I bet I gotta walk back through this stuff, don't I? Yes. Yes, trash. I'll, 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 I'll see you guys in a minute, I guess. I didn't mean to go through that again. Alright, so we're back up top. And what happens if we move over in this direction? Like, we, we start going over to the left. Um, does that bear any importance to us right now? Anything major that I can gather from... It's a big circular room, so that's awesome. At least I know. I, I guess that's the important thing is that I, I know I went, um, you know, and I, 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 I could not find out unless I did something different. I mean, it, 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 it's, you know, curiosity's sake, you know. All right, so we're back into this room right now, and uh, I think over there. Oh, hey, I. Yay, swing to this side, and uh, okay, that, that, that. That works at least, and so we find ourselves more of these guys. Why? I will say this. This is doing a great job of taking these little heifers out. At least the small ones. The bigger ones take multiple hits, but these small ones are going out in like one shot. Oh, just, just, just keep, 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 keep on fire, keep on firing, keep on shooting, boop them on the snoodle and, sorry, um, I hate the rooms with the endlessly spawning little idiot enemies, that spawn where I'm trying to stand, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, I want to fight through wave after wave of these guys. You know what? I'm just going to skip ahead to the point where I've got these guys dead. D-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-D. Dead. Hey, guess what? I found a new weapon. It's this thing. We've already seen it once already, but there it is again. It's a Gatling gun. Yay! And everything's dead. Yay! Guess what? I think in just a moment I'm going to call this an episode because yay, Van Helsing. <laughs> Gotta love how I start these out so excited and then, and then I feel like emotionally distressed after that. Uh, uh, I say I end this up, but I can't end this up until we finish the episode, until we finish this level. I want to finish the level. Come on, Van Helsing, you murderer! Uh, this I like this weapon right now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that right now. I'm I'm liking this a lot. It's making short work of these things. What was that? I don't know, but as long as it, well, hey, that that made very short work of them. I'm all for it. Anything that takes those things out. So we're gonna wander around here. And I think I'm going to, like, call this an episode in just a moment. Because we're at the recording mark. So I'm going to walk through these doors. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to look around this room a little bit more. And then if I can't find anything, we're going to call this an episode. And then we'll jump back in just a few moments. This has been Andrew the Moo. And I greatly appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you in the very next episode. It's almost over. 
Yeah.